Hey guys, I am doing my emotional abuse healing journey. I am on healing tool number six. So healing tool number one is to pray for your abuser. I'm gonna to touch on that more at the end. So um, it's a little outrageous, so I figured I'd save it to last. Healing tool number two is to avoid your abuser at all costs. Healing tool number three is to avoid all toxic people at all costs. Healing tool number four is to do your research on the seduction period to understand the manipulation tactics because it's really hard to get out of an abusive relationship when you're holding on to that Mr. Wonderful or Mrs. Wonderful for that matter um, that you fell in love with and often it, it's part of their their seduction period in order to manipulate for their personal gain. So there's there's a, it's actually textbook, the stages that abusers go through. So it's really important to really understand that and then that way you can, can break that, that mind game and to break that bond. So healing tool number five is, oh my gosh, this is the most important one. And this is to have a close relationship with God. And I'm referring to our ultimate, our ultimate healer and savior, Jesus Christ. Not, not a higher power because it's a placebo. It is very important. Jesus is the ultimate healer and that is, that is really, really extremely important. And so now we're on healing tool number six. And healing tool number six is one that I can't even believe that this one just, I've been doing part of it and it's, and I've been struggling. There's something I've been struggling with and it's really been detrimental to me and it just, it came off like a light bulb. So I'm really excited to share this one with you. So the first part of it, and this has to do with, uh, with positive affirmations. And the first part I've been doing for years, and I can't tell you how, how important it has been for my overall mental health, my, my, my emotional state, because I have had such throughout all the trauma that I've continued to receive. Like I can't, I'm, I've still got mine coming after me. And so, um, I've, throughout it all i've even though i have been hit hard with uh, with life i mean we all go through our challenges but this has kept me having i've always had a grateful attitude throughout everything and it's because every morning and this is huge so please do this every morning wake up and thank god for three things and when i started doing this in my mind i started i'm going oh they were simple things like but they weren't really simple but i started out just something because you know that when i started doing this i really kind of wasn't feeling so positive and I started out by saying, you know, thank you, God, for my arms, my legs, and my eyesight. And would you, I mean, I'm telling you what, I would run into people that did not have their arms and legs. I mean, throughout like that day, it was, it was crazy, or even eyesight. You would be surprised how many, I mean, that's something that we take for granted. But can you imagine how huge that is for people that don't have it? So it definitely changed my outlook. And from then on in, I've been doing that. However, there was something that, such a scar that I could not get over. And throughout the years, and I mean, it's continued to just haunt me. And I didn't realize, like, I've just struggled so much. And it was because I lost faith in myself. And it really didn't occur to me until something came through. As a matter of fact, last night, it was just a light bulb moment. And it came through some meditation thing that just happened to pop up in my timeline. And it's crazy because it just, it screamed to me. And that is how important it is to, to positive affirmations would be about yourself. And because I've had the seed planted in my head, I was beat down so much. I started like my brain, I started, it, even though I was away from the emotional abuse, I didn't even realize I was emotionally abusing myself because inside my mind, I was still thinking, you know, I am this, I am this, and, and I, you know, all these horrible things. And I don't know why it was really hard to, and I also lost faith in myself. So I realized that in addition to my three things to be thankful for, we also need to do three things to to affirm your identity and as it should be. So to start out by saying I am I am amazing. I am capable. I am smart. I am I am a child of God. I am perfect. I am loved. Every morning wake up and start doing the three things. I mean because and this is something that I've known throughout the years. If you hear something enough, you start believing it. And this actually came from a Christian uh, marriage counselor and was stating how every insult requires 13 compliments to make up an insult. And how often, you know, that's often it's usually for most people, it's, it's definitely goes the other direction. 
And so with that said, it is so important to, to build up your self-esteem. And I didn't realize that one thing that was really a, such a crutch on me after the abuse is that I, I started believing it. I started allowing that to, 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 I started having a lot of self doubt because I used to think I could do anything I wanted to if I believed. And somehow that kind of, I lost that. Well, I just got a, a, an awakening because I am, I am, I am back and it's very important that I want to share with everybody too. So healing tool number six is to believe in yourself, to have positive affirmations, to lift yourself up, to, to break that, that tape in your head. The way that's the way I, it's kind of like, it's like that tape recorder. You keep rehearing because you keep replaying what you've heard. Stop it. Stop anything you've heard. You got to stop that and you need to correct it. You need to fill your brain every single morning with how wonderful you are. Anything that they've used to break you down because they will go for something important to you. Something if you, if it's extremely important for you to be a great mom, they're going to tell you you're a horrible mom. They're going to tell you this, they're going to tell you that. And you need to tell yourself you're wonderful. You're this, you need to fix that. You need to correct that because you don't want to believe it because even though you can get out of an, an abusive relationship, you're going to still be stuck in the control of the negativity and the trauma and the scars. And the only way you're going to break those scars is to, is to give yourself the positive affirmations that you need because you are every one of you, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You're wonderful. God loves you. You are loved. You are perfect. Okay. So please remember that. And I also want to reiterate the pray for your abusers. Okay. Cause I know that's one hard for people to understand. And I actually, in my research, I ended up pulling up a research I've done, I've been doing research throughout the years. And in 2006, I did this huge, I mean, I went through, I did this huge, this huge paper and I found, I kind of found something that defeated what I was saying before when I was thinking that the reason you, one of the reasons you pray for the abusers, you know, because we all started out, we were innocent babies and I thought, you know, it had to do with trauma. However, come to find out that according to this research and a PhD in psychology, um, that they're stating that it's not necessarily from being abused. However, those that have, those that have been abused are actually more dangerous when it comes to emotional abusers. But the known fact that they say that if people were emotionally abused or abused when they were younger, they tend to act out to males rather than females when it comes to male abusers. So that kind of broke my theory down where I thought that it had to do with maybe, you know, what they went through, that they were traumatized and they were hurt and that's what's causing them to lash out. Well, if that's not what's doing it, then it's, it's not good, right? Because anything that God wants is, is definitely, you know, that's, that's not good. So what we need to do is pray. We need to pray for whatever demons, whatever it is that is, that is causing people to be hurtful and hateful. And, and it, it will be huge in the scheme of things, because if we all pray for everybody, just, we can really change the world. I mean, I, it, it's pretty big, but, um, so I just want to wish everybody well, and I hope that this is helping you as much as it's helping me and God bless.